Yo, what is going on, guys? It's the Lone Wolf One here in Grand Theft Auto Five. Uh, just wanted to give you guys an update. I know I've posted a video in a while. We are playing as Michael De Santo. Is that his name? Something like that. Michael, right now. And uh, I just wanted to show you a couple of my cars. So uh, you know, we walk into Michael's garage. Bam, we've got all custom armor, Rolls Royce, all that good stuff, uh, and a custom Grotti Competition or whatever it's called pretty slick right so then we come out here I got my I customized Michael's Audi and then we got this I don't know where this thing came from it just magically appeared in my garage one day so I started driving it I've wrecked it a lot because it is a very fast car uh, plus it always spawns in my garage so I can get it for free anytime I want so let's take you to Michael's garage real quick show you guys what I just finished buying uh, I beat the campaign recently those of you who have beat the campaign, you'll know. Those of you who haven't, I won't spo uh, spoil it for you. But those of you who have beat the campaign, you know that you can enjoy the good life after you beat the campaign. Uh, as you can see, right there gives you an idea of which choice I chose for beating the campaign. Uh, though, again, those of you who have beat the campaign, you know. Those of you who haven't, you'll find out. Uh, good luck with the rest of the campaign, by the way. It's very awesome. Alright, so we pull into the garage. I never like to leave my car over there because it just gets in the way. So we pull up, as you can see, Michael's dressed very nicely. Pull up. So let's enter our garage here. See, show you guys what we got. Now, take in mind, everything in here is all customized. Uh, some of it may be cosmetic. Some of it is just performance. And uh, you'll see. Just a second. So, bam. That's pretty stacked, don't you think? So we've got the uh, Trafade Adder, which is the Bugatti in the game. We've got the uh, Cheetah which is kind of like a Ferrari Enzo kind of looking thing. Uh, then the, I I can never remember this car's name, so I apologize. Uh, is it on the side there? Well, it's basic. It's it's a Konig, Koenigsegg CCX kind of looking thing. Really nice car. It was 780 grand. Uh, and then this, which is a Lamborghini Gallardo. It's also known as the Vaca in the game. So, very nice car. And then see if you look right in the top right cor top left corner, it says press right on the D-pad to select a special vehicle. So I will do so. And see, there it is right there. The Allergy RH8, which is like the Nissan GTR in the game. Very, very nice car, may I just say. So, um, I also want an airport hangar as Michael. Uh, and I have the Luxor private jet in there. Got all the good stuff. So next, let me just show you Franklin's, gr Franklin's stuff. Hopefully we spawn near his garage. I just want to show you guys real quick. Because, you know, when you put as much effort as I did, you want to show off uh, the cars that you purchased and customized. Now, Franklin's Charger, I don't know if he has it. He probably has that stupid motorcycle. Is he in the strip club? Hey, I'm going, man. Before oh. you take advantage. Yeah, how you like that, Afro? Uh, look at this bike beat. Look at the bike. Probably in the back. Well, I'll take you to his Grove Street garage, uh, and you'll see that he has nice cars. Uh, there's only one that I don't have at the moment, which is the Z-Type, which I'm planning on buying probably after I post this video. Should have probably bought it before. Oh, there's my $9,300. I bought the uh, Smoke on the Water Pot store. Great way to make 9300 bucks. Uh, so let's head over. Luckily, we spawned right here. We'll head over to our Grove Street garage here. We'll head over to our Grove Street garage, and I'll show you some of my rides here. Uh, and then in Franklin's house, I have another Bugatti Veyron, which neither one I actually paid for. I stole both of them from the uh, secret spawn point, which just so everyone knows... Uh, whoever watches this video, the spawn point for the Bugatti Veyron in the game is right there. Right there. Right there, everybody. Just so you know, spawn point for the Bugatti Veyron in this game. Um, so there you have it. I don't know why I set the waypoint. I know where everything is at this point. I just like setting waypoints because it's just addicting. Uh, so, we should hold up a gas station on video right now. Yeah, hang on, let me show you the garage, and then we will hold up this gas station. 
Oh. Oh. Ooh. All right, so let's go inside. Now, a lot of these cars were very expensive, so just keep that in mind when you see them. There you go. So, right here we have the Stingray, which is kind of a Shelby Cobra slash Mustang, well, no, uh, Corvette Stingray looking thing slash Ferrari California looking thing. It's a weird little car. And then we have this, the Monaco. If I'm getting these names wrong, guys, I apologize. Uh, which is a Lamborghini Mura remake. Looks just like it. Oh, the Monroe. Alright, so it's called the Monroe. And this is called the Grotti Stinger. Okay. And then this is the JB700, which is the Aston Martin DB5 in real life. James Bond car. Uh, I don't know how to get the working guns. I really wish I knew because I really want the working guns. And then for some reason, this is in the garage too. So uh, before we end this video, guys, I kind of want to hold up this liquor store. Uh, liquor store, uh, gas station, just to show you guys what it's like. So that is what we will do. Alright, who's ready? Let's go. Let's hit this up. You always got to make sure we kill the guy. You don't need no witnesses here. Now, if it's one thing I'm good at in this game, it is losing the cops. It is really easy for me. Some people, it's hard. For me, it's really easy. All right, guys. Well, a little celebratory victory dance there. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this video.